Shadowverse. Greetings, I'm Shad, and hey, <laughs> my shirt came. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with how they turned out. Looks awesome. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, and this is your first time coming across uh, my channel, uh, T-shirts available on teespring.com, made by yours truly. Just had to share that. First time I'm wearing one of my own shirts on uh, one of my videos because uh, they need to ship them over from America and I live in Australia. But that's not the topic of this video. So now getting into the topic at hand, Vikings and padded armor, or indeed Gambeson. Now, it's interesting. There's no evidence, okay, archeological evidence for, Vi for Vikings wearing a type of padded armor, specifically Gambeson, but I'm making this video to share the reasons why I think they did. And I think absolutely the Vikings wore a padded type of armor. So why do you think that, Shad, in the light of the fact that there is no archaeological evidence? Well, e e like, of course there's no archaeological evidence. Uh, Gambesons are made out of organic material and breaks down, so it's not going to survive. Uh, this is the same reason why we have no real... There are some, and it's really rare, uh, surviving examples of leather armor, but Gambesons just as hard, would be just as hard. And for Vikings, it would be even more unlikely because the, the Viking period was before the medieval period, and the examples of leather armor in the medieval period are so rare and, you know, they basically are non-existent. But that's mainly because leather armor wasn't actually used historically. There are exceptions to this, but for a general standard medieval period, no. Leather armor, no. You, you, you're safer just to consider that it wasn't around for uh, full leather armor used uh, extensively by everyone. Okay then, so why do I think Vikings wore padded armor? Well, for one, they we know we have archaeological evidence of them wearing mail, okay? So they uh, did have mail, and now not every Viking had it. Mail would have been rather expensive. And uh, so uh, this has led some people to the with the conclusion that only the rich Vikings actually wore armor, and most Vikings just wore their uh, woolen tunics or whatever going into battle. The reason why I think that doesn't, you know, make sense is because by the very fact of them having male armor, it establishes a precedent or at least an understanding amongst uh, Viking cultures. So, you know, the Scandinavians, they were the Danes. But this establishes the fact that uh, Vikings not only understood the concept of armor, but valued the concept, okay? Meaning that they wanted to protect themselves. Now, shield offers great protection, so, and, you know, the shields and Vikings kind of go hand in hand. It's hard to see a Viking or a warrior of same culture who wasn't a raider, therefore wouldn't qualify as a Viking, but people would still call him a Viking, but anyway, that's not a subject. Always have shields, okay? Uh, and that's because armor technology wasn't up to the level where shield was not, like, you know, necessary. Shields are so advantageous and important that even if you have good armor, like mail, Mail isn't perfect, therefore shield very useful. Could a shield do the job without armor? To an extent, and uh, as we talked about in my video, can the fantasy barbarian be realistic? We did find that there are examples of certain warriors and stuff like that going into battle, no armor at all, but not only that, just naked, relying on the shield for full protection. So look, there is a bit of a precedent that the Vikings could have been wearing no armor at all. But the fact that they understood the concept of uh, body protection because they had mail leads me to the conclusion that they would obviously look for other more affordable and accessible materials to protect themselves in battle. And on top of this, cultures that predate the Vikings also had types of padded armor. This concept of using thick clothing to protect yourself was already established, so it isn't like the Vikings had to invent something to figure it out. So combined with the fact that protecting your body is good, and the fact that it already, already existed in other cultures that they might have been able to figure this out from, and then added with this additional fact that their clothing would have already been pretty thick. Now, Scandinavia of this, you know, during the time isn't a frozen wasteland that some, as some people have, you know, tried to suggest. It can be rather temperate. But having said that, the winters get, get, still get pretty cold, and generally it's a colder climate, so thick clothing, they would already have that. And so it just makes sense in my mind that they would have some type of padded armor. Indeed, and now, oh, look, do we have categorical evidence for this? No, we don't. But a lack of evidence isn't evidence for the opposite conclusion, meaning that they just didn't wear padded armor, because they had mail, all right? They clearly liked bodily protection, which therefore, in my mind, makes the conclusion that they had padded armor to be far more likely than that they didn't. So 
So a quick short video, just a very basic argument to share my opinion on something that we all find interesting. I appreciate your time. Please do share your thoughts as well if you think there are more factors that uh, would indicate, yes, of course, Vikings wore padded armor, or if you think, no, 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 I, I really don't think they had gambesons during that period. Share them in the comments below. I look forward to reading them. Thank you for watching, and until next time, farewell. I'm really not used to making videos so short like this. Like, I, I feel like I, I need to keep speaking about something, but that's, that's it, that's it, we're done, okay.